this time on a moment of science? Yeah! Yeah! It's a little curvy. A moment of science. Okay, so you have a tube that's curved. You also have a golf ball that you're going to knock into one end and out the other. So how does the ball move after it leaves the other end of the tube? Um, maybe a straight line? Maybe it curves. Perhaps it starts by moving in a curved line, then gradually straightens out? Well, when this question was given informally to a group of undergraduate students, about half of them expected that some kind of curved motion would remain in the ball after it leaves the tube. This, however, is incorrect. Once the ball leaves the tube, it will move in a perfectly straight line. Maybe you're not surprised by this, but what's interesting is that it wasn't until the 17th century that this was realized to be the case. Yeah, for hundreds of years, people thought that some aspect of the thing that moved an object stayed in the object. That sounds a little weird, but I know some of you out there thought the ball would continue in a curved path. So see, you too were subscribing to this incorrect theory of curved tube, curved motion. Well, eventually Newton's laws of motion stated that an object will always move in a straight line unless it is prevented from doing so. It's the curved tube that prevents the ball from moving straight, but only as long as the ball is inside. Once free, however, it moves straight once again. Ba -ba -booyah! So the next time you're at a putt-putt course, remember, Newton always won at miniature golf. I'm Mandy Strife, and this has been A Moment of Science. You know what I invented? Science. For more interesting science facts, visit our website at amomentofscience.org.